What's up guys? It's your boy Quick Stocks. As always, remember to hit those thumbs to recharge my dopamine and we will get right into your beef between Microsoft, represented by our fighter Bill Gates, and Elon Musk, backed by the Tesla clan. And yes, before you leave a comment, we are aware that Bill Gates is no longer the CEO of Microsoft, but take into consideration that he co-founded the company and is still the individual largest stakeholder with over 100 million Microsoft shares. Anyways, as we hold both Microsoft and Tesla in our quick stocks long-term portfolio, I thought we would take a quick look at how these two geniuses in their own respective fields feel about the possibility of an electric big rig future. And of course, who is right? And more importantly, as a Tesla investor, are we being promised a fallacy? The argument in question starts in Bill Gates' vlog, Gates Notes, link in the description. Bill Gates writes, how exactly do we fuel our needs to move around without emitting greenhouse gases? Well, we use clean electricity to run all the vehicles we can, and cheap alternative fuels for everything else. Which I think we can all get on board with. However, he continues to write, But even if we develop cheap, long-range EVs that are powered by zero carbon sources, electrification isn't an option for many types of transportation. The problem is that batteries are big and heavy. The more weight you are trying to move, the more batteries you need to power the vehicle. But the more batteries you use, the more weight you add, and more power you need. Even with big breakthroughs in battery technology, electric vehicles will probably never be a practical solution for things like 18-wheelers, cargo ships, and passenger jets. Electricity works when you need to cover short distances, but we need a different solution for heavy, long-haul vehicles. So to sum it up, Bill Gates goes, electric vehicles aren't feasible because of weight restrictions. And Elon Musk goes, I'ma let you finish, but first, you. And the Tesla clan goes wild. But for real, take into consideration the maximum weight for a fully loaded semi is 80,000 pounds, or 36 tons. And when comparing lithium-ion batteries, which will power the Tesla semi, to fossil fuels, i.e. diesel and gasoline, you'll find that lithium-ion batteries have a much lower energy density than fossil fuels. Simply put, you need a lot more of it to produce the power needed to cover the same distance when compared to fossil fuels. And when looking at a trucker's schedule, they are able to drive for up to 11 hours total during a 14 consecutive hour on-duty period. However, after driving for 8 hours, the driver must take a break for at least 30 minutes. Currently, on a fully loaded tank of standard fuel, a semi is able to travel for around 900 to 2,000 miles on a single load of fuel which would easily make a full duty period, or in layman's terms, 11 hour drive possible without needing to stop for fuel. However, when looking at the Tesla Semi, it is expected to have a range of 300 to 500 miles on a single charge. Assuming a Semi is traveling at 60 miles an hour for 11 hours in ideal conditions, it could cover a total distance of 650 miles. This far exceeds the range the Tesla Semi is capable of. Meaning, in this scenario, the truck operator is going to need to recharge far more frequently than your standard diesel-fueled semi. Along with this, fossil fuel big rigs have a benefit that many people do not consider. If a trucker has a heavier load, they do not need to fill their tank up to a maximum capacity in order to stay under that 36 ton or 80,000 pound weight limit. Whereas EV batteries aren't trip dependent, meaning you aren't able to adjust the weight or size of the battery based on how far a truck needs to go. There's one more scenario that we need to cover, which in all honesty is probably the most important metric. When looking at the Tesla Semi 500 mile variant, which of course is its higher end, heavier model. As in our scenario, we are looking at long distance transport. Based on the current energy density of lithium ion batteries, the battery alone is going to weigh around 15 tons, if my calculations are correct, which leaves about 21 tons for cargo, which is actually about the same as a conventional truck. But the conventional truck will be able to travel much farther. However, take into consideration, Tesla battery day is right around the corner. And many people argue that Tesla, or Elon, is going to come out swinging. However, I do want to quickly note, be it electrification, electrofuels, and advanced biofuels such as those made from plants, whatever the alternative is, something needs to be done. Just in the US, trucks contribute to 23% of all transport-related greenhouse gas emissions. 
And in regards to the Tesla Semi, they have an extremely efficient engine, meaning it will use only 25% of the energy required by conventional trucks, and most of it can come from renewable sources, which is a huge deal. And in shorter hauls, simply put, it seems like a no-brainer. And as advancements in tech reduces the recharge time, hopefully one day to a point comparable to that of pumping diesel into a conventional truck, which would be an absolute game changer. And on a final note, if full autonomy does come to fruition, where a human operator becomes redundant and laws and regulation allow for it, the ability for an electric semi to drive constantly, of course assuming the battery could handle it, and recharge as it goes a long route, it would absolutely change the entire transport logistics industry. So with all of this in mind, what's our conclusion? Well, it seems like the two tech billionaires are stuck in some high school drama. Remember, this isn't the first time Bill Gates and Elon Musk have butted heads. After Elon Musk made some controversial Rona comments, Bill Gates came in with the stick to electric vehicles and rockets. It really is a shame that these two geniuses, in our humble, quick stock reporter's opinion, are a lot more similar in their end goals than they are willing to admit, and they can't get past the drama. But nonetheless, it makes for an entertaining show. Anyways, guys, that's all we've got for today. As always, the best investment you can make is to go along on Quick Stocks. Hit that subscribe button now at 1,650 subscribers and plan an early retirement. I will catch you guys in the next one.